I'm Blair Gilbert here for MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores, Michigan. Uh, we've recently experienced some heavy rain, some serious flooding, so I'm here to talk about stand pipes. Stand pipes are things that you can put in your basement floor. They're going to raise, effectively raise, the level of the plumbing in your basement. So instead of the water coming in to the basement floor through your floor drains, we're going to take and raise the floor drain up. So let me show you a floor drain. So what we do is, I have a demo here of a basement floor drain. This would be flush with the floor of your basement. The plumber installed it if your home was built in, in the uh, baby boomer age, as many of this neighborhood was built from 1942 till 1965. That's the way our neighborhood is. This is a standard three inch floor drain. This is three inch cast iron. Three and a half on the OD, you don't care, but it's three inches on the ID. So what we have is, we have a stand pipe. And what this is, is this is a rubber donut. It's got four screws, and when you tighten the screws, you can probably see the donut bulging a little bit. So what we do is we take the donut. This is a PVC insert adapter, inch and a quarter by inch and a half. And what we do is we put it in the floor drain. I pre-tighten the screws to get myself a snug fit before I even start it. Then you take the screwdriver, you tighten these screws, all four of them equally, and what's going to happen is, is that donut's going to expand and give us a watertight seal. So now it's going to rain this weekend. So it's got inch and a quarter threads in it. You take a piece of inch and a quarter PVC that's already got a male adapter glued onto it. It's going to rain. So our floor drain is a floor drain. So if our hot water tank blows up or the washing machine blows up, water can drain and go out of our house and our basement isn't going to flood from an internal disaster. It's going to rain. There's an external disaster coming our way. We take the floor drain cover off. We screw in our standpipe. When we have the standpipe here, this is inch and a quarter pipe. You can't cap this. This has to be open to let the water in. Again, so the damage doesn't come in the house. So what happens is, is the water can raise up from the basement floor. It's coming from around my house or it's coming from the city sewer. I'll go into that in a second. And it comes up here four or five inches. The water will stabilize in here and we won't get water in the house. You can look in the pipe, you can see the water level. If there's more pressure under your house than 18 inches and it comes up above this, this water has to be able to come out of this pipe and start flooding your basement. As bad as that is, it has to happen because otherwise the uh, force, if you cap this or plug this drain, it can take and lift and break your floor. Now, there's two drains in the house. The standpipe needs to go in the drain that's connected to the weeping tile. You have another drain in your house in front of your laundry tub. This is just what's common in our area here in St. Clair Shores, but it's industry standard. It's not too uncommon. In front of the laundry tubs, we could put in a test plug. This is a three inch test plug. And this is just like a thermos bottle plug. You tighten the nut, it expands, it seals. You can put it into the drain. You can tighten up the wing nut and it's going to seal and stop the water totally. This is not a good idea for anywhere except when the floor drain is connected to your sanitary drain system in your house so that there's no leaks. I don't have to worry about water coming out of the sanitary system going underneath my floor because the sanitary drains in your house, those are solid pipes. They don't let water out. All the water in there is the sanitary water from your bathrooms, your kitchen, your toilets, and that's going out to the city. This one can be plugged. The other one can't be. Now, in front of the floor drain, in front of the laundry tubs, oftentimes we can put in a flood guard check valve. This is built by the same guy that make the standpipe adapter. Only difference is he's got a check valve on it. So when the water comes up, boop, shuts off. So I can put this in front of my laundry tub, stall it just like the standpipe, get it sealed in there. Now if anything goes wrong in my house, it can drain out, but there's a flood coming. The flood can come up, shut the water off, and no water will come out of that floor drain. There's another one, a small one, real quick. This is for showers. A lot of people have showers in their basement. They have two inch drain pipes in it. So here's the shower one, same thing. The water comes up, it shuts off. Other than that, you can take your showers. Back in the 60s, 
when we didn't have fancy cutesy standpipe tricks like what we have these days, the plumbers and handymen that knew how to pour lead, which was not uncommon in the 60s and 70s, they would take a coupling and they would put it in there and they would pack oakum around the coupling and they'd pour lead and they'd lead that coupling in there. Now I have customers, this was pretty common. One in ten houses had this system in my neighborhood. And what would happen is, is these threads all filled with dirt from 20 years of water going in here and, and the homeowners swear to me that there are no threads in there. But if the hole doesn't measure three inches on the inside, then I'll bet them a dollar that if they take an ice pick and they check the threads, they're going to find threads in there. So they either did inch and a half or two inch couplings and that was a common handyman fix in the 60s for my neighborhood. I run into them, I have to teach people about these, I have to show them that they can take a tap, clean out the threads, then we just make a PVC pipe the right size for the threads. This is inch and a quarter, we have these an inch and a half. Now you just make an inch and a half stand pipe, screw it in there, bingo. It's already the hard part's already been done for you. You just never knew that you had it. So here we have sort of a rude layout, exaggerated, of a street that's got a slight hill in it. Here's the city sewer main, running relatively level, pitching downhill towards the city sewer department, but everybody in this block, this sewer main's about the same level. Here's the other thing that happens is the city can't handle all the water. Too much rain, city can't take it. So the water starts to back up in the sewer main and raises. And as water comes up, of course, this basement's gonna flood. This guy put in a standpipe. So now when the city floods, if it floods up to this point, he's still screwed. If it keeps coming higher, that water's going to come into his basement. Let's take a quick look at these two guys. They have standpipes too. Actually, this guy has a standpipe. This guy has none. So what happens is the water level comes up conceivably this high in the sewer line. So what will happen is this guy got lucky. He stayed dry. This guy didn't have a standpipe. He just got four inches of water in his basement. 